Uh, aloha, my name is Sam Campos, and I like to make things out of junk. I'm a big geek and a Star Wars fan, and I have been watching The Mandalorian since the get-go, and it's a great show. Uh, Hasbro offered Razor Crest, um, going on over a year now, and um, yeah, it's a hefty price. Uh, my sons initially weren't interested in it, and then one day I was watching one of the commercials because I, I like to geek out and look at these things, and my youngest boy uh, expressed to me that he wanted a Razor Crest, and then the bigger boy jumped in and said, yes, I want one too. I'm like, all right, <laughs> cool. So knowing that I have a whole bunch of um, broken toys and stuff, I thought, okay, well, um, when Christmas comes around, I'll lay it out and we'll get things going so um where i get my things is you know uh initially i go to like thrift stores or um the aloha stadium swap meet on oahu is um pretty awesome um i managed to pick up a c-130 uh toy with a, like a submarine and a bunch of other tanks and trucks and stuff and um it was missing a lot of parts but it was still really cool i'm like okay i want to make something great and then, coincidentally enough, uh, Target released these uh, Hero Force cargo planes. And um, I bought a few of them because they were pretty reasonably priced. They were under 50 bucks. So I bought those and um, thinking, okay, well, I'm going to make a Razor Crest. So what am I, what am I going to use for the engines? Going through different types of materials, I, I thought about cups and bottles and all kinds of things. But I was thinking about playability, something that's going to be durable. And my big question was, how am I going to attach these things? Because I could find things that were big enough, like the Razor Crest, but I wasn't convinced that they were going to be sturdy. So one day, I was going through the Art of the Mandalorian book that I picked up. Actually, it wasn't the Mandalorian book. It was the Galaxy's Edge uh, art book. Yeah, and I looked inside, and, and I noticed that there was a large vehicle that had what appeared to be X-Wing engines huge x-wing engines the ship was the resistance transporter and i thought wait a second i just picked up about four of these x-wings at the swap meet for 10 bucks a piece i thought about it and i'm like okay well these are more sturdy plastic so why don't we do that all right so now that i had a plan um i dug out all the components laid them out the table took a pair of uh cutters a Gacto knife and a screwdriver and went to town started taking everything apart I took one of the x-wings and I cut it up to see how it's gonna work and once I slapped those engines on I'm like holy cow I might actually have something here went back to the office and started thinking of how what am I gonna use for cockpits um, I like the idea of the Corillian freighter cockpits you know the Millennium Falcon so I bought several of those over the last couple of years and i thought okay well, maybe i can cut this thing up because the mandalorian ship kind of has a Corellian feel to it at least to me it does anyways um but there was an issue because there's electronics in there and i kind of wanted to utilize the sound effects even though they're not star wars uh and they had lights on it so you know i decided not to do that then i remembered i had picked up a couple of darth vader cockpit playset thingies and i had that in mind that i might use it for um, a razor crest later on. So I dug those out and those seem to be a much better fit. So I cut everything apart. Once I had the cockpits fitted, I knew I was ready to go. I sanded down the bodies and I gave them a spray of um, primer and they looked pretty cool. Then I went through all the other engine parts and I paired everything up and everything seemed to fit correctly. I went and glued them together and took them outside in my yard and I proceeded to give everything a another coat of primer and then hit everything with the silver. It was really neat to see. Once he dried, brought everything back to my office, laid them out on the table and begin to proceed to make a mess. Um, the glue that I, I had put onto for the engines to hold the engines in place seemed to be okay but there was a little bit of a wobble issue. And I didn't want to put screws in it because it could tear up the plastic. So I had these red plastic rods and I cut them down to size and I drilled holes through the wings and the engines and I glued them in place, which seemed to 
solve my stability problem. While the glue was drying for the red pins, I went back and started assembling the bodies of the razor crest, which is fun. Then I put the wing components all together and set them on top of the ships and stepped back and I thought, wow, this looks like something. It's pretty cool. It's something retro and spacey all at the same time. I'm like, all right, I think this is cool. And I kept checking with my little uh, my little 10 year old self to see if I, I would dig it. And then my two office buddies came in and they're both like, wow, that looks cool. So I got my uh, my two older friends that who were pretty excited about it. And I thought, okay, that's a good seal of approval. And I just kept going. Landing gear. Now the Razor Crest has retractable landing gear. Uh, the Hasbro ones, you take them off and put them on as you need them. I thought, okay, maybe I can do something like that. What was I going to use for landing gear? Well, once I had everything set on the tables, they looked pretty good. You know, just with the standard wheels that it came with. And I almost uh, let it go at that. But, you know, knowing me, I always have to keep messing with it and seeing what else I can push the envelope with. And I remembered that I had all these at-at legs um, that I had collected over the years. And uh, you're probably asking, why do I have a bunch of at-at legs? Well... I had a, my son at the time was three or four years old, my oldest boy, and, um, you know, he was having a hard time. He kept knocking the AT-ATs over and he wanted to have make push trucks. So I took the legs off of the AT-ATs and got a bunch of old broken RC trucks and I put them on the AT-ATs and we made Imperial rollers. That was a lot of fun. So that left me with a bunch of these legs. So I thought, great, cool. I have enough. I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to make landing gear. And that's what I did. Initially, I was going to make them where they were going to be removable, like the Hasbro thing, but I liked it as it is, so I decided to uh, glue everything in place, and that's how I'm going to leave it. In the HasLab video, as it's going through the detailed interior, it shows backpacks hanging from the walls and nets and weapons and stuff. So I got a, I had a, um, in my kitchen, I had onions and avocados and I looked at the nettings for the bags and I'm like okay I can do that um, so I cut them up and hung them on top of the side of the ship for the weapons lockers I used cartridges for Instamatic film uh, my boys have Instamatic Polaroid cameras and when they're done taking the pictures these cartridges are left I initially I wanted to use them for vending machines but the bombs and the guns fit perfectly so I went with that we added um, grappling hook guns and shovels and added little little goodies on the side to kind of deck it out a bit. The interior lighting really uh, shows things off. Once everything was all put in, all the components are in place, landing gears there, lights are in. Um, it was just a matter of doing the stripes. Um, my youngest boy, who is six, really likes the color blue, so I thought, well, why not give him a blue stripe? So I, I studied the images from the art book and I made his ship with blue stripes and my older boy who's nine uh, gold stripes so it looked more like the actual Mandalorian ship. It's kind of neat. Gives them their own little individual touches. Makes each ship unique. So once uh, everything's there, we did a little photo shoot. Just kind of have something for to commemorate <laughs> what I'm doing and hopefully the kids will look back years from now and see what we did and how it got here um, Again, I really like the lights inside this ship, especially the cockpit, you know um, No for these two you can't sit uh, three people as advertised, but That's you can still fit your little green frog on your lap or on the side panel. There's enough room So that's that's it. Um, that is my Sam lab Frankenstein um, razor crest on a budget. What would what, what does this cost me? I'm sure because it's a budget thing. So ship ship costs fifty bucks. Engines ten dollars. Landing gear five to ten dollars. Uh, Christmas lights were six dollars. Can of paint four bucks. Uh, gold paint three dollars and for the black wash another three dollars so it's uh it's it's not 350 like um you would if you got a brand new razor crest but 
at least if you drop and break it, you won't cry as hard. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope this answers your question. I hope this gives you bad ideas uh, like me. And uh, just go for it. Have a good time. Play with your kids. Play with your toys. Life is too short. This is the way. Aloha.